a question was asked about the conflict between occupation, making a living, generating resources that support the material aspect of living, the daily necessities, and a life dedicated to the exploration of inner freedom. Is there a conflict? And if there is a conflict, what is it? This is my reply. Because often the question is the conflict. It presents the wrong observation. If it's asked without careful examination, it carry with it the seeds of that conflict with the assumptions that are that the question is based on so let's break it what is occupation what is making a living what is life in freedom Occupation, you can see very clearly, is a state of mind. You can be sitting in your room doing nothing, yet completely troubled and occupied in your mind. And you can find yourself in flow of activity that is creative, natural, harmonious, and manifest the freedom itself, the joy of life. You can see it. So the occupation and the activity, there is no link between them. There can be, but it's not one thing. Then, Making a living, obviously, it's a term, very twisted. You don't make life. But supporting the material necessities in life is very clear. That too is a rainbow, a scale, Without end, what is it that need to be supported? For everyone is different. Often you see very rich people that feel and actually live in a state of constant debt and relatively I don't know if poor people, but definitely people without resources that sustain their living humbly without lack. There are edges, extremes, and the fear amplify the extremes, but in life, the measure of sustainable life in terms of resources is very subjective. But let's take it as a relative function that need to be met. There need to be some resources to support some level of materialistic sustainability in life. So it's not making a living. It's meeting the resources need to sustain life. And then there is uh, inner freedom. And you have to ask yourself why it seems 
that inner freedom require time and effort to be met, to be, to flower. Why it's in competition with any time allocation to something else which is not it? Can there be a life that is guided, is flowing out of is expressed as free creative flow. Can this life manifest in activity the essence of freedom? This is one question. It has nothing to do with money making, occupation and all that. And then there is the other question, can this life also provide the means to support the material need? You need to ask the question. And as you ask the question, as it become very clear to you, you need to see what is your natural movement. Don't fake it, don't force it. If you are driven by fear, no matter how you call freedom and flow and life, the fear will always be the factor by which you make your choices. And making a living will be the priority, creating revenues, resources, or any mean of sustaining the material need will be the priority from which you will hope one day to have the capacity within to approach the question of inner freedom. To me, this is a fact. It took me many, many years to admit that fact, but it was always the fact. The other fact that revealed itself in the last few years in my life is that free creative flow can only come to be to the extent that fear does not exist not controlled, not avoided, suppressed, and all that, does not exist. Where fear is, free creative flow is not. As long as you have to choose between the two, fear is trying to make the choice. It's always negotiation. It's always a compromise. When free creative flow, flower, express itself in your life, the question of choosing between that and anything else does not exist. And then you start for the first time in your life to learn what is it a life lived by itself? You see the beauty of it. You see the quality of truth. And you see the immense activity that it come with, it generate. It's uh, the most active thing. It's life. Then you are left with the question of uh, resources supporting living. And I recommend you to admit the truth before you try to answer that question. Because if fear 
put the choice in front of you, wrapped as a conflict, hidden under the notion of conflict, then the, to address the question of how to sustain life that are originated by free creative flow, it's, it's totally theoretical. So it can never lead to a real answer. And if you live a life, very active life, very in a state of constant creative flow, that lead to this freshness, freedom, happiness, when that is the reality in your life, the question of resources will take care of itself, yes or no. But that question has no force over you. In fact, it's, uh, it become a beautiful thing to look at because you learn the nature of that quality of rhythm in reality, not in uh, theory. When you come upon that, which is unconditional and cannot be bought, cannot be bribed in the mind, the more challenging it is, the more clear you see what is the quality of your free will. In fact, you see that the free will is not yours. It's prior to all your ideas about life. 